everyone. I uh, just wanted to come in and share a um, project with you. So I was in a swap and I had to make a banner, um, Valentine's Day banner, and it had it had to have four panels to it. So um, this is what I came up with. I've never made a banner before, so I was uh, kind of excited. So what I've made here is a, um, I started out with the base. It is the felt um, hearts that you can, that I got from dollar, the dollar spot at Target. So on these, all I did was I ran some ribbon and this, this little ribbon I got at um, Dollar General during Christmas time and I just didn't use it, but I thought it fit nicely in here and added uh, more to the panels. So um, I got a small um, bouquet of flowers at Michael's and uh, and I put flowers all the way around. If you can see that, it's kind of hard with the light. Um, I made some, I printed some uh, vintage looking images off the internet um, because I wanted it to be somewhat shabby chic um, or vintagey. So I cut them out and I uh, glued it, to, and I did use um, hot glue to, to glue these down because of the felt. So I did um, use a base at the bottom, and that is a paper collection from, um, where did I get that? I got it at Hobby Lobby. It is the Vintage Valentine collection. It was the four, I think, six by six paper pad. So all of them do have a um, base, a heart base at the bottom. So after I did the flowers, I went ahead and uh, started to embellish it a little bit. So I did the flowers and I did the cutouts and um, this is just a button. These little buttons come, or big buttons, come from uh, Dollar Tree. And then this um, is a um, table scatter and it also comes from Dollar Tree. This is a little piece of XO I had left over, so I went ahead and used that, if you can see that. Um, and then I put a little bit of ribbon, and this little heart, this uh, button heart, comes from the Dollar Spot at Target. And uh, this is a, um, a Recollections sticker, a uh, puffy sticker, and some flat back pearls. And as, I don't know if you can tell um, that I put some shimmer mist on there, or glimmer mist, I'm sorry. Some glimmer mist on the flowers. Um, I did have some overspray on the paper, but I kind of like that look. So this was the first panel. And in the end, I did decide to put a little, you know, um, sparkly at the bottom because um, everyone knows I like my sparkly. And these tassels were on clearance at Michael's, so I thought, well, I can I can do that. And uh, so I bought the tassels, and I put this is two tassels because their tassels are kind of thin. So I went ahead and put two tassels on there. And uh, this is just some um, um, that lacy stuff, you know. So anyway, and then I put a little heart. Uh, in the middle of, of the bow and then my next panel again um, these flowers are recollection flowers and I did um, ink them up a little bit just so they could have that vintagey look and uh, the paper at the bottom uh, flat back pearls and again I got some of the the overspray on sorry I wasn't on in frame so um, some got some of that little overspray on the um, on the cardstock, but that's that's pretty. I like the the way that came out, and all of them have at least um, all of them had one heart of the table scatter, and this is another image I printed off the internet, and these hearts come from the Dollar Tree as well. It was a package of like nine or twelve or something like that for a dollar, and then uh, again it's got its little bling at the bottom, and then. I went pink, I went light pink, red. This is a darker pink. So, um, and again, another heart, Dollar Tree heart. And then um, this is tool. I don't know why I can't think of things sometimes, but I guess maybe it's my age, I don't know. So um, this is another printout off the internet. And um, 
again the buttons and the glimmer mist on the uh, on the flowers themselves and I kind of you know I kind of I wanted them to match um, as far as the angles like on the flowers so I went ahead and I used this angle and uh, but on the flowers in the end I used this angle and then I used the same angle for the last one so my OCD is kind of kicking in and wants to switch that up a little bit but I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone because I have to mail this out today so uh, again two tassels right here at the in the center separating them and all I did was uh, I took the tool and I strung it through the back and then just tied a tied a, a bow on or it was just a knot because it that this is one piece and then the um, bow is another piece and I just glued it on there and I put um, a little button on there to you know hide that seam hide that knot <clears throat> excuse me so um and that one that's the third panel and the fourth panel is um is red and again, I mean, you know, my printer wasn't printing that great, but uh, I kind of li like the way it looked just because it looks even older that way, even more vintage. Uh, so anyway, and, and here are the flowers going the same way, the same direction as the first panel. And uh, and that's the OCD kind of kicking in. I should have uh, had them facing this way, but uh, like I said, I have to leave it alone. And, uh, and I put another bow on this side, the X's and O's above the little, um, the little button that I got at Target. It was a little uh, vial of buttons. And I did forget to tell you that I did ink up the paper at the bottom because I, I thought more of it was going to show through, but you know, which is okay. But, um, I did uh, ink it up a little bit and then the... I did ink up all of all of the felt simply because it looked really brand new and I didn't want it to look brand new. I want it to look, you know, faded and, and old and shabby. So I went ahead and I did ink up the hearts a little bit along with the ribbon. So that's, um, it doesn't look so, so white. So the color isn't so stark. So, uh, and then the bling at the bottom. And then on each side, I went ahead and put one tassel and, uh, and a, another bow. So I know you can't see this without me moving the camera and showing you, but um, let me do one quick pass over. So this is the, uh, there we go. This is my, um, my Valentine's Day banner. And I kind of, you know, I didn't want to, put a whole lot of Valentine. I didn't want to put love on there because, you know, it's my hope that, you know, if, if the person receiving this really likes it, you know, maybe she wants to have it up, you know, longer than Valentine's or maybe it goes with her decor or something like that. So I hope that, um, that she likes it cause I really did. And, uh, I will show you what swap I got. So I will be able to see, let you see what uh, what she created for me when it comes in. But for now, this is going to go to its new home, and um, and I hope I have inspired someone to make something out of their comfort zone because this was definitely out of my comfort zone. All right, guys. Well, I guess I will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye.